Oh, okay. Oh, it's sunny. Oh my, maybe like this. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today, as you can see, we are going to be unboxing this massive mammoth of a box right here. Oh my goodness. You know I'm gonna drop it eventually. So this is the Cauldron Crate. And if you're new to this channel, hello, welcome. My name's Corinne. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. And let's open this box. First, I'm gonna apologize about this sunlight. So the sun is kind of just setting. It's really only mid-afternoon where I am. And um, I just don't wanna shut the blinds. The sun, it feels so good. It's nice and warm in here. I think it's like 13 degrees out right now. So it is freezing. But this sun feels so good, but it's ruining up my lighting. I absolutely know that. Oh, the sun's bad. Oh. <laughs> My goodness we are going to be unboxing this crazy huge biggest box i've actually ever have gotten so this is the advent chest uh from cauldron crate and i so funny story i did not purchase this box um i just didn't have the money for it and the purchase time came and went and was i bummed about it yeah but i was totally fine um i would have absolutely been fine but they were having a giveaway they were having a giveaway. I rarely enter giveaways, but I'm like, you know what? I really love this this um, this box, so I'm gonna enter the giveaway. I entered it. Lo and behold, my name was drawn. I'm still like in shock about it. The day it was drawn, let me put this down because it is a little heavy, folks. It's a little heavy. Um, so the day it was drawn, um, I saw it on Instagram, and I I was like in shock but then once i kind of realized what was going on I, I i believe i screamed um i was out having um a lunch date with one of my girlfriends and yeah so it was insane she had no idea what i was talking about i don't have very many close friends that are actually harry potter fans um they're fans but they're not like huge fans like i am so it's okay but anyway I was so, so, so thrilled. Um, Cauldron Crate then messaged me, let me know that their random number generator did pick my name, and uh, or their random name generator, I should say, uh, picked my name, and I just couldn't be more excited to open this box up with you guys. This is like, I'm still like totally in shock. I am, I, I don't know if you can even like sense my excitement and overall like astonishment with winning this box. I never win anything, first of all. I never win anything, but I won this and I I am so excited. And so I just wanted to let you guys know that I did not pay for this chest. I did win it. Um, it was a giveaway on Instagram and I believe on Facebook. And I entered and I was chosen. So I did not buy this box. Um, so I just wanted to make that very clear. Um, but okay, let's open it. Hopefully nothing falls out. I have a bad habit of not being able to open these, um, without something falling out, especially lately. So there is so much stuff in here. I'm going to like actually put up a picture on the screen of how much stuff is in here. Oh my God. Oh my God. So we have an envelope here, a very plain brown envelope. We have the Cauldron Crate label right there on it. So for the life of me, maybe this is their cheat sheet. Do you think that's what it is? Could be. Let's see. Okay. As soon as you open it up, I want to show you guys, folks. Spoilers ahead. That's the first thing I saw. Spoilers ahead. We're not going to look at that just yet. We're going to save this till the end um, and then read about everything at the very end. All right, this next thing I'm going to pull out is another envelope here. Cauldron Crate is very known for their replicas, so I have a feeling there's going to be a lot of replicas in here. But, ooh, Christmassy. So here we go. Um, oh, and it says it. Can you see that? It says number one right on it. Folks, I'm kind of upset I didn't start opening this up in December. I really should have. So number one, here is our number one day one advent chest item. Oh my goodness. Okay. It is an absolutely gorgeous print of the Great Hall. 
decorated for Christmas. I apologize about the glare because this is such a super, super glossy print. I'm going to put a um, picture up on the screen, but this is absolutely gorgeous. So you have some Christmas trees here. They're all decked out. You have the candles that are floating. Um, and of course, all the place settings here for all the students. Absolutely gorgeous. What time of year would you most like want to visit Hogwarts? Um, I definitely think either Halloween or Christmas. Definitely during the holidays. Although, you know what? Anytime. I want to live there. That's no secret. I absolutely want to go back, be a student. Maybe even now, being older, um, I will be a professor. Why not? Um, but that's absolutely beautiful. The Great Hall Christmas time. Perfect first opening. And I found the number two item here. It is a little parcel. Um, I love this wrapped in brown paper with the twine. Let's open it on up. Let's see what's in here. Okay. And we have our number two item is holiday shopping. Oh my goodness. And that's adorable. So we have, okay. So what makes this extra special here, this is a little shopping pad that you're obviously able to write your grocery list on or whatever. We have, um, this looks like a chocolate frog card right there. Some stockings, a broomstick, obviously. Um, I'm not exactly sure. Oh, those are, um, what are those? Birdie Bot's Ever Flavored Beans, I believe. I believe those are containers for that. And of course we have some snitches on there too. This is super cute, nice thick pad. Um, I really love the size of this, actually fit in my purse perfectly. Um, and I am always actually writing lists. Um, holiday shopping list. So we have a number three item right here. There you go, you can see it. It is wrapped in this black tissue paper. And folks, we have a pencil. It's just a plain black pencil. But no, it says right on it, use it well. This is obviously referencing Harry Potter getting the invisibility cloak um, on, is it, I believe his first Christmas, maybe at Hogwarts? Was it his first, I think? Um, yeah, by someone unknown. And there was only one little note in there uh, that said, use it well. So um, how awesome. I actually really like these pencils. Um, this is the second box that I've opened that has these pencils in it, and I am loving them. You guys can't see me right now how much I'm smiling, digging through these things, looking for item number four. Like, I just want to show you guys, like, everything is just, like, wrapped up like Christmas time. This feels like Christmas Day. It's so much fun. I'm sorry. Anyway, let me get back to looking. There is so much to go through. I am, like... I finally found it, the number four item. So I actually took everything out of the box and then I arranged them a little bit so I can find them a little bit more easily next time. Um, but here it is, number four item. And it is in this beautiful um, black little like um, bag. Uh, it's uh, like velvety, it's so, so soft. This looks like a little change purse, like you would stick your galleons in, right? Oh, this is beautiful. This is gorgeous. So here is um, a little bracelet. I believe this is a bracelet and it is so pretty. How pretty is that? A nice, cute, absolutely adorable, super simple lightning bolt. And again, I will try to take a picture of this. Um, this is so pretty and so delicate. I love it and I absolutely will wear this. And you know what? You know what's actually really cool about this is that this lightning bolt itself, it's on its own clasp. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's on its own clasp. So you can actually unclasp this lightning bolt, hard to say, um, and then put it on a necklace. So for instance, let me show you guys what I mean. And there we go. So as you can see, the lightning bolt is now on my necklace. And we will keep it there because I'm quite fond of it. I love that. And you know what? Like if I could keep this chain and we get more charms to put on it. Oh my goodness. Number five item is an envelope here. There you can see it. Number five. We have a beautiful, absolutely gorgeous um, card here with a print of this crystal ball. 
it's not a crystal ball. It's a snow globe. And I believe, yes, that's Hogwarts. So we have Hogwarts in there um, at nighttime, which is absolutely beautiful with the windows lit up. But how pretty is that, the snow globe? And then the inside, I believe it is blank. It is blank. So you could send this to one of your friends, um, anyone you want. I don't know if I'll use that. I'm going to have to think very hard of who I want to send this to. Number six. So it is hard. I have a feeling that this might be one of Cauldron Crate's, what they're known for. Oh my goodness. And it's like a Christmas present. What they're known for, their candles. Um, I absolutely, absolutely love their candles. Every single one. I don't think I've gotten one that I have not liked yet. Um, and I really enjoy getting them. And yes, it is a candle. I really, really enjoy getting these. So I am so excited to have this. This is a Christmas feast candle. It is orange, cinnamon, and clove. And these designs, the labels on here, are beautiful. This is a Cauldron Crate exclusive. These candles are only in the Cauldron Crate boxes. Um, and how beautiful. So again, you can see the great hall with all the candles that are floating over here. It is this kind of, um, I'd call it like a mauve color, almost the same color actually as my sweater, which is super funny. Um, but yeah, this kind of like mauve pinkish purpley. Ooh, that does smell very good. I definitely smell the orange and the cinnamon. Not too much of the clove though, which I'm actually kind of excited about because um, I'm not crazy about the clove um, scent or flavor. So yes, that smells very good. Very like holiday-y, like cinnamon and, and kind of like what you expect to smell. Um, that's kind of spice smell during the holidays. I have to show you guys the inside. Um, absolutely gorgeous. They always do such a nice job. So there's some orange glitter for you. I believe it's orange, yeah. It's like a peachy orange. And it's so pretty. I actually haven't um, burned any of these any of these candles yet. So um, for you guys at home who's, who get this, have you burnt these? Do they smell as good as they do when you just stick your nose in them or they smell better? Um, let me know because maybe I want to start burning them. I don't know. But they're just, they're gorgeous. They're absolutely gorgeous. I love these candles. We have the number seven item right here. Here it is. As you know, we get a pin with every box that is in Cauldron Crate. Absolutely gorgeous. Of course, I'm going to stick a picture up on the screen for you guys. But it is Christmas at Hogwarts snow globe pin. So I see a little theme here, right? Obviously, it's Christmas at Hogwarts. But we have, and I just put it actually right behind me if you guys can see it, um, our little Christmas card. And now we have our little pin. And it's absolutely a hard enamel pin. Um, the detail on it is absolutely gorgeous. It is Hogwarts at night. You can see the stars in the sky. Um, Cauldron Crate exclusive snow glow pin. And look at the bottom. The details on the bottom with the moon and the sun. There's an H in there as well. The gold on it is just so beautiful. And then, of course, the moon in the sky is just, oh my goodness, absolutely gorgeous. I love this. You know we have the two backing so it doesn't fly all around. And this is so nice. Number eight. Again, we have this black velvety um, uh, little pouch here. Oh, I almost dropped it. Oh, remember I was always saying about that bracelet and it would be cool if we got more charms for it? Where did that bracelet go? Folks, we got more charms for it. Do you see this? Oh my goodness. Okay, what do we have here? So here is um, our broom so this is our like nimbus 2000 i believe we have a platform nine and three quarters charm um a little snitch there how adorable is that the sorting hat so how adorable all right let me put it on the let me put it on the bracelet i gotta take this off and get this bracelet all situated and there we have it folks there is our charm, charm bracelet. I'm gonna try to put it on. I'm gonna fix this lighting. I realize that the sun is streaming in. It feels so good though. I put all the charms on the charm bracelet and um, it's a little big. Um, You can adjust the size. I just, I couldn't get it on myself. So the way I got it on is the way I'm gonna hold or gonna keep it. But I'm gonna show you guys, it is gorgeous. It's absolutely 
Oh my goodness. I don't have a charm bracelet. I've adored them. I know that a lot of like designer companies have come out with them and I absolutely love them. They're beautiful. Um, I've never really had the money to get one, um, unfortunately. Um, but now I have one and I couldn't even be more excited about this. So it is absolutely stunning. Um, of course, you guys, I will take a picture uh, so you guys can see it a little bit better. But would you look at that? How pretty is that? Oh my goodness. Number nine. This is definitely a house themed item. Here is the points, right? So here is the Hufflepuff file. It is a keychain, folks. Um, and I believe that's the house points. Uh, you can see a little badger right there. How adorable is he? And then we have this filled with all these tiny little jewels, these beautiful little sparkly, um, you know, yellow beads or whatever they are. So that's adorable. I love that. What a great thought, you know, to put that in, the house cup. Um, and it looks like Hufflepuff's got quite a few points in there. I actually think I might put this on my keychain. I don't usually do keychains. Uh, if you watch my previous videos, I just don't do them. Um, but I might just do this one because it is absolutely, absolutely adorable. If not, I'm absolutely going to find a place for this because, oh my goodness, I, I just, I, I cannot love this enough. The light, the light. Ten. So we have a necklace here on a black cord, and I believe this is supposed to be a potion vial. And it's just filled with this white um, and silver crystally um, stuff in there. I don't know if you can see it, but how cute is that? That is awesome. Totally goes with the theme. It kind of looks like snow. Um, I'm trying to like place what this might be as far as a potion. There is no label on it, but I think it just might be kind of a random potion necklace. I'm not sure if I would wear it, but absolutely I'm going to find a place for this because, I mean, how cute. And I'm loving that they are actually putting their um, little charms on these little things. So you can put them on a bracelet. I just had an idea. You could even put all these charms I just put on this bracelet right on this cord necklace here. Um, so this too, this little... Um, Potion bottle here also has a little clasp if you guys can see that. So, um, so awesome that I love that. So you can do a necklace or a bracelet, but that is super adorable. Great thinking. Oh my goodness. I love it. Great job. And number 12 item here, we see we have a little paw print here. There is some writing on the back here, so let me read that to you. Marge's Dog Biscuits, Vegan Oatmeal and Shea Butter Soap. Happy Christmas, Harry. I believe this might be soap uh, in the shape of dog biscuits. Let's see. Is it dog biscuits? Is it soap? I'm not exactly sure. Um, oh, yes, this is definitely soap. So that's kind of cute. Oh my goodness, the smell of the soap. So we have some dog bones here, um, and this is obviously handmade soap. It smells in, oh my God, I can't even like place that smell, but it is so good. But how cute is that? Um, I'm not sure if I actually display these. Um, I don't have a puppy. Um, I would love one. We just are not... Uh, we don't have enough time for one right now, but these are so adorable. Um, if you are a dog lover, you absolutely need these in your life, I think. In the smell, oh my goodness. They smell literally good enough to eat. Um, love it. And I'm sure made with oatmeal, and it's so smooth. Made with oatmeal is probably great for your skin as well. So, super adorable. 12. But this one's got a punch out of a Christmas tree, if you could see that. The details, folks, the details. Okay, is this some more charms? Could it be more charms for a necklace slash bracelet? It might be. It is. Okay, oh my gosh, this is so awesome. Oh my God. Um, we have some more charms. So we have the Lost Diadem, Ravenclaw's Lost Diadem. We also have um, Tom Riddle's 
diary and there is a hole in it where um, Harry impaled it. Helga Hufflepuff's um, goblet, right? Her cup, the Hufflepuff cup. So I added them to my bracelet. We have Tom Riddle's diary, Helga Hufflepuff's cup right there. We have the lost diadem. Oh my God, that is so cool. Oh my God, this is so cool. So now remember folks, these actually could go on that wire or that um, necklace, uh, that like rope necklace that we just opened with the potion bottle on it. These could absolutely go on there too if you wanted to wear it more in a necklace form. 13, I had to fix my curtain. Oh, how adorable. Oh my goodness, we need to fluff her up. If I'm not mistaken, I believe this is supposed to be a little pygmy puff. Um, let's see. And um, I did find like a random card in the box and I think this goes with it. So this is Harry Potter inspired crochet. Uh, visit me on Instagram, uh, wand and hook for more magical creations. All the crochet pieces are for decorative use only and not intended to be children's toys. No problem, so soft incredibly soft in the cutest <laughs> this is absolutely adorable my little pygmy puff i believe that's what this is supposed to be but if you can see it absolutely is crocheted um with his little eyes right there it's so soft it is crocheted in there can you see it oh my goodness he needs a little spoofing a little spoofing oh my gosh so cute. I love how they they put this little um, string on here. Very nice. 14, we have a little envelope here. You can see it, number 14. We have another card. It is the Weasley sweaters. And I had to actually look at this extra long in order to figure out exactly what each ones were. And it was these two. These two that just threw me off completely. But of course, come on folks, Arthur, Molly, Bill, Charlie, Percy, Fred, Ginny, Ron, and George. So the Weasley sweaters, the family we all absolutely love. 15. Oh. Now I have my very own Weasley sweater with my initial on it for Corinne. And of course it's yellow because I'm a Hufflepuff. Um, and it's on a little hanger and that could, I mean, no words, no words to describe how much I am in love with this. I am in love with this. Oh my God. 16. Um, if these are more charms, oh my God. And I think they are folks. I think they are. Uh, Salazar Slytherins. Um, ring. Yes. Uh, um, is it his ring? Now I don't even remember. But anyway, this is another Horcrux, um, and this is the ring. I believe this is supposed to be the locket. It does not open, folks, because it is just a charm. But that Salazar Slytherin locket. You see the S on there. The Death Eater mark. The dark mark. Pretty awesome. All right, so we have some more added to our beautiful charm bracelet. Oh my God, oh my goodness, okay. 17, it says on the back here, Harry, we received your message and enclosed your Christmas present from Uncle Vernon and Aunt Petunia. Thing. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Um, a tissue. Just a straight up tissue. A to oh! a toothpick. And a 50 pence. So, yes, that's exactly what they sent Harry. Oh my god. This is hilarious. This is so so funny. Um, yeah. So Harry wrote to him, say, I'm going to stay at Hogwarts over Christmas. Don't worry about it. And they said, oh, okay, no problem. We got your note. Here's your Christmas gift. And they sent Harry a tissue, a toothpick, and a 50 cent piece. 
um, or a 50 pence, I should say, a 50 pence. Um, hilarious. I love this stuff. I know that this is not everyone's cup of tea. I absolutely understand that, but this is so funny. They also don't show this stuff like in the movies, all these little teeny details that are just, just makes it all amazing. Like number 18 item right here. We will open it on up. We have another uh, potion bottle. Gorgeous one, mind you. Super, super thick glass, which I love. And this says, finest ingredients, powdered root of asphodel. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Asphodel? Let me know. And this is actually filled with this beautiful, very, very fine, sparkly brown sand. Can you see that? I'm actually going to need to get an entire shelf dedicated to just my potions, which I'm not mad about. Definitely not mad about, but I have to find the perfect one in order to fit my space as well. Um, it's a little cramped in here sometimes, but you know, it's fine. 19. And so we've opened up so many of them now. I'm kind of anticipating that this is going to be more charms. And can you actually hear that? All right. So number 19, let's see what we got in this little pouch. Oh my goodness. Okay, folks, we have some more charms. And now they're getting very big. Oh my gosh. All right, I got to show you guys this one first. Um, this one's a little big, so I'm actually going to put this on the necklace one. I'll put it on. Um, but we have a little time turner here, and it actually turns. So we have a little charm that is a time turner, and it does turn. A little thing, a um, little charm here that says, always which is so cute and then of course our deathly hollow symbol very awesome um okay so these the always one i'm actually going to put on um the charm bracelet other oh no uh oh i might have just broke it oh i did darn it okay well I'm a little rough with things, no big deal. I just broke my always, always um, little charm, which is totally fine actually, because I'm not really into the whole um, always like quote or whatever. Um, but I will keep this because it is still very, very cute. So there we go. I put our little time turner on our cord necklace that we got here with our little uh, potion bottle. And how cute is that? That's actually quite the perfect size. Um, that I actually would wear. So I might have to actually find a chain for that on, all on its own. But I am like dressing up in all this jewelry. And I got to show you guys again what this beautiful charm bracelet is starting to look like. Isn't that incredible? Oh my God. It is absolutely gorgeous. So let's keep going. Number 20 item. So it is heavy. I wonder if this is another candle which will be interesting we do have another cauldron crate candle here folks and this is shell cottage oh sorry new year's at shell cottage uh the scent of this is champagne and roses so hand poured soy wax candle wow that is such a beautiful scent so floral and flowery and so elegant it is really really an elegant scent um oh my goodness and so this is like this very very light rose color um kind of champagne -y. um and if you look on the inside we definitely have some gold glitter which is just beautiful in there oh that smells so good new year's at shell cottage 21. Ooh, this is so gross, but oh so good. Oh my goodness. So this is a little vial, right? It's a little potion vial. Um, and it is slug and figures, flower worm, mucus. Very long vial. And it absolutely is glass. And whatever they put in that vial absolutely looks like mucus. And it makes me want to like gag, but oh so good. Oh so good. Flabber worm mucus. Ugh. Oh, gross. So good. 22. I have to assume. 
you know, with the history that is this box, I got to assume that these are um, more charms to go either on our necklace or on our very dangly um, charm bracelet. This, I believe, is supposed to be a wand. Um, I'm not sure exactly whose wand it's supposed to be, but how adorable is that? So that can probably, since it's a bigger one, I'm probably going to put it on this necklace right here. So there we go. We have our wand. Ooh. We have a little Felix Felicia's bottle here, which is super adorable as well. And absolutely, the shape of this bottle is absolutely correct as well. At least what we think it is. I'm going to put this one on my cord necklace too, um, just because it is a little bit big. Um, and my uh, bracelet is like filling up super fast. This final one we have here is a little owl. How adorable is that owl? And he's a little guy, so we can put him on my little charm bracelet. Let's find a good spot for him. Okay. Oh my goodness, wow. All right, folks, so we only have, um, I think, like three items left only. My goodness, incredible. So we're on number 23, um, and these are all supposed to be, like, it's an advent calendar, so it's supposed to be opened, like, one each day, which would have been incredible uh, to do that. So next year, I might just forego the um, video to open it all, um, you know, one day at a time, but we'll see. <gasps> this might be another vial we have here. Yes. So we have here, folks, we have a bottle of fairy wings. It says harvested in 1955, I believe. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this in there. We do have some fairy wings. Oh my God. Wow. Oh my gosh. This might be my favorite. Little fairy wings. Is this open? It doesn't. Okay because I really wanted to touch the fairy wings, but I guess we should not touch the fairy wings. Okay, um, this is beautiful. So a beautiful glass vial here with those fairy wings in it. We have a beautifully printed little label. That is really nice, really, really nice. Okay, we are on to number 24. Um, it is a big one, folks. So let's see what this is, this beautiful gold paper. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. We have a mug. And it is, I believe it's a tin mug, uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, a metal mug. But look at this. So you see Ron and Harry, and they're opening some gifts in front of the Christmas tree. So this might be their dormitory. We have a Christmas tree there. And then we have Ron, uh, Hermione, and Harry playing wizarding chess. What a beautiful mug for the holidays. And you can see it's just white inside. It's got a black um, little lip right here. That is so adorable. I love it. You know, I can't get enough mugs. I'm, I'm starting quite the collection of mugs, but I just love these. Um, too bad we're not getting a tea in it because I would absolutely stop, halt video, time out, pause, um, I would absolutely go make a cup. And on this freezing cold day, ooh, it would be so nice to just... And we have our final, very final, last item. Folks, I know I said I thought there was 24 items in here, but no, there is 25. One through 25. Um, wow. So, all right, folks, let's open up this Christmas Day item and let's see what we got. Ooh, it's something very soft. Oh, that is adorable. So folks, we have a little ornament here, and I believe this is Mr. Albus Dumbledore. Um, oh my goodness, he is super, super soft. How adorable is he? He is just the best. Oh, Dumbledore. That was crazy. That was insane, like in the best way possible. Wow, I am like really, really happy for me to have won this box because otherwise I wouldn't have bought in it. Um, I had missed that deadline, which I was okay with. I was a little sad, but I was okay with. But I consider myself one of the luckiest people ever in order to be able to get this box. Um, 
from Cauldron Crate because it was really, really awesome. So now we can open up our little spoiler card um, and read what everything is about. I'm not going to hold each item up because, well, it was a lot of items. So I'm going to put pictures up on the screen and I'm just going to keep reading, my friends. This is the Advent Chest, like we said. Um, 25 magical items for the 25 days of Christmas. Our products are vegan and cruelty free. We also aim to use as little plastic in our packaging as possible. All products are exclusive and handmade by Cauldron Crate, unless otherwise stated. So number one, and folks, this is like a double cider. That's how many items that are on here. So number one is the Christmas Feast art print. I always wish I could see the Great Hall at Christmas. Just look how pretty it is. Enjoy your own interpretation of the Great Hall at Christmas time with this A5 art print. Gorgeous. Number two is the holiday shopping list, and that's by Hannah Howard. Need a place to jot down your shopping list and present ideas? Well, look no further. We have commissioned this handy Potter-themed holiday shopping list. Designed by the fabulous at Flighty Tempers Adventures, check out her Etsy shop, FTA Magical Designs, for many more amazing sketches. Number three, use it well pencil. No one can have enough pencils. Our handmade sparkly wrapping paper is inspired by the invisibility cloak. Use it well. Number four, sterling silver charm bracelet. A beautiful, delicate sterling silver charm bracelet. We have attached a single lightning bolt charm. Add more if you wish. Oh, and I will. I will add more. I actually did already. Number five, Christmas Snow Globe Card by Cauldron Crate. Give someone this beautiful Christmas Snow Globe Card for the holidays. Number six, Christmas Feast Candle. Enjoy a scent of Christmas with this orange, cinnamon, and clove candle. Hand poured 100% vegan soy wax. Number seven, Christmas at School Snow Globe Pin. We have exclusively designed this gorgeous Christmas at school snow globe pin to add to your growing Potter pin collection. One of our favorite pin designs to date. Number eight, Charm Bundle One. The first of five bundles of charms. Attach your bracelet or hang from a chain slash cord to create a beautiful necklace. Number eight, House Point Key Ring. Has your house received enough points this Christmas? This little key ring looks great with your keys or even hanging from your Christmas tree. Number 10, Veritaserum Mini Potion Cord Necklace. That's what it's supposed to be. How cute is this tiny potion vial? We have made it with a detachable clasp, so you can use different pendant charm if you wish. Number 11, Dog Biscuit Soap. We just had to include a nod to the famous Aunt Marge in a relenting love for Harry. These cute shea butter and oatmeal soaps are 100% vegan and are scented with gingerbread. The soap is not only an exclusive moisturizer for your skin, but the oatmeal is a great exfoliant as well. Number 12, charm bundle number two. The second of five bundles of charms. Attach to your bracelet or hang from a chain cord to create a beautiful necklace. Number 13, crocheted pygmy puff decorated by wand and hook. We fell in love with Wand and Hook's creation quite a while ago. This cute mini pygmy puff is perfect for hanging up during the holidays. Follow her on Instagram for many more lovable designs. Number 14, Sweater's Christmas Card by Hannah Howard. We are so happy to include this gorgeous sweater Christmas card designed by the talented Hannah over at FTA Magical Designs at Flighty Tempest Adventures. Check out her Etsy store for more fabulous designs. Number 15, it may be my favorite, the personalized mini knitted jumper decoration. Everyone's favorite mother has knitted you your very own Christmas sweater. We have included an adorable coat hanger so you can hang it on your tree with pride. Number 16, charm bundle three. The third of five bundles of charms. Attach to your bracelet or hang from your chain cord to create a beautiful necklace. Number 17, Harry's Christmas presents. Well, thanks, I guess. What on earth were Harry's guardians thinking with those delightful presents? 
Number 18, powdered root of asphodel potion ingredient. Run out of powdered root of asphodel for your drought of living death? We have you covered in this glittery replica. Display only, not for human consumption. Number 19, charm bundle number four. So this is the fourth of the five bundles of charms. And of course, again, you can attach it to your bracelet or hang it from your chain. Number 20, New Year's at Shell Cottage Candle. Celebrate the new year with this hand-poured, 100% vegan soy wax candle scented with champagne and roses. Number 21, Flower Worm Mucus Potion Ingredient. This slimy, thick replica potion ingredient was a nightmare to capture. Those flower worms sure are slippery. It also glows in the dark. Hold it up to a light source for a few minutes and let the magic happen. Display only, not for human consumption. Number 22, Charm Bundle 5. The final bundle of charms. Of course, again, attach it to your bracelet or on your necklace. Number 23, Fairy Wing Potion Ingredient. A handy collection of fairy wings to use for your beautification potions, bountiful brew, and drought of perception. Number 24, Christmas at School Mug. Cozy down with a hot chocolate in this 10 ounce enamel mug featuring three unforgettable Christmas memories. So number 25, the crocheted double door decoration by Wand and Hook. Isn't he adorable? This charming crocheted professor was made by Wand and Hook. Sit him in your tree or display him on your shelf for that bit of extra magic. Wow, that's so awesome. This was so incredible. I am I am so grateful to be able to open this with you guys. I'm so grateful to be able to receive this gift. Um, and it truly, truly was a gift to me. Um, and really, really made my Christmas. So again, thank you guys so much for coming. That was, wow. Like, whew. am I going to be able to pick my favorite thing? Absolutely not. Out of 25 things, I can barely even remember what the heck we opened. Thank you, Cauldron Crate, so, so much. Again, from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much. Bye.